this come back and start with your next topic that is electrolytic conductance till now we have been studying different topics that is differences between electrolytic cell as well as electrochemical cell then i have taught you what is the, or, uh, the concept of electrode potential then we have studied about uh, nernst the equation then faraday's laws then let's come back to this topic that is electrolytic conductance so under electrolytic conductance you will be studying 1 2 3 4 five and six concepts together done we also have related numericals to this now let's start first defining what actually is conductance now what is conductance suppose if i take a metallic piece basically why do we call metals as conductors good conductors because they allow the flow of current or uh, flow of electrons rather then so flow of electrons so indirectly if i have to start with conductance conductance basically is a property of this metal now let us start fine conductance is the property of conductors to allow the flow of electrons okay which are also flow of electrons suppose if i denote the concept of the factor of conductance as capital c capital c is always inversely related to its resistance which is 1 by r so conductance is inversely related to its resistance than so <coughs> is equal to like um, we are this is equal to c 1 by r done so uh, what is this whole uh, conductance measured in yes the unit for conductance is o ohm inverse so ohm inverse then this is the unit for conductors now let's come back and gradually go into a concept called specific conductors right now after learning the definition of conductance where c is equal to 1 by r now let's come back and start uh, so uh, doing all these concepts now conductance i said it is uh, the inverse of resistance done that is also okay ohm inverse is a unit which we have written now uh, suppose if i have to define specific conductance or conductivity i have i'll start with a concept called resistance let's see this because conductance is inversely related to resistance let's start so i am going to write first about specific uh, resistance then go back to that concept now what is the specific resistance like we said the resistance c is equal to 1 by r we said now this r is directly proportional to the length of the particular uh, electrode which we have taken and it is inversely related to 1 by a when i club these together r is equal to l by a you are taking directly proportionality constant you are going to add a constant called what is this now let's define r means resistance l is length which is equal to 1 cm the area of cross section a is area of cross section which is equal to 1 cm square if i collectively called l by a is called cell constant done <coughs> and rho is called specific resistance okay now what am i gradually going into that topic the conductance i start inversely related to resistance as a firm resistance i spoke about resistance is directly proportional to l inversely related to area of cross section and i defined specific resistance now how to write the definition for specific resistance now specific resistance is basically denoted by rho correct now define it is uh, now just see specific resistance when i take this out is equal to l by a what is that specific resistance is a resistance of 1 cm cube of an conductor conductance okay it is specific specific resistance specific resistance is the resistance of 1 cm cube of 1 cm cube of a conductor 
that's it so gradually now from specific resistance i'll go to specific conductance next we've already seen what is conductance then we have seen what is specific resistance now let us summarize once again conductance is equal to c is equal to 1 by r what is r equal to then we said r is equal to rho l by a rho is called specific resistance done now i'm coming back to a concept called specific conductance from this now what is specific conductance basically it is denoted by kappa specific conductance by kappa so what is this kappa how do you write you write it by small k i said conductance is the inverse of resistance that means this specific resistance also you can relate the specific resistance with this kappa how are you relating specific kappa is equal to 1 by rho hope you understood this once again conductance and resistance inversely related specific resistance as well as conduct specific conductance are inversely related so see here k is called kappa is called specific conductance this concept <coughs> rho is called specific resistance yeah let's come back and start with conductivity now 